Hey everybody, Captain Mike here. Welcome to my flight deck. Um, we're in Tampa. Uh, we're in Tampa. We're in uh, Fort Lauderdale, and we're going to be heading on over to Tampa. Um, we've got nasty rainy weather the whole way, since I want to take a look at the uh, rain edit that I've been working on. So, that's basically what we have. We're just about ready for push. The engines are already up and running, so we're ready to get out of here. So let's request push. Great news, Captain. Your toe's coming. The 3D rain effect inside the flight deck makes a world of difference. No doubt about it with the uh, inclement weather. And the wipers just add a whole new level of realism to it. It's pretty cool. Um, the only problem that remains is the dry spots. I don't know a plane maker. I couldn't make a plane if my life depended on it. So I'm pretty much stuck right where I'm at now. I don't think I'm going to be able to go any further. I'm going to keep toying with it, playing with it, see if I can get it, but it's not looking like I'm going to be able to go any further. And if we had rain on the glass the whole way down on each of these, it would really be great. It would really be something else. All right, we're buttoned up and we are disconnected. Toes connected. Bypass fence inserted. Go and kill the parking brake when you're ready to go. So, like I said, we're lit up already, so we're not gonna have to start the engines. The nice thing is with this effect in here, I haven't noticed any hit in performance with, you know, basically everything taken out of the 3D flight deck with the exception of the rain and the wipers. So that's a good thing. Um, but if someone can step up and give us the full rain on these windows, that would be absolutely over the top. Couldn't ask for anything more than that. Looks like I have what is supposed to be, I guess, a reflection on the glass. I'm going to have to see if I can get rid of that as well. <laughs> so, that I want to take a look at. I love these clouds and I hate these clouds. Some of them look absolutely beautiful and some of them just look hideous. It'd be nice once they get that straightened out because the ones that look nice look real nice. And we're disconnecting the tow. Give me just a moment. Let's bring up my charts, shall we? Well, we have 10 left, correct? Okay, we got a little bit of a travel we gotta do. The aircraft you see there is all traffic global. I mean, I wouldn't fly without it. Not if I had a choice, anyway. And we're disconnected. Signal and pen on the left. We'll take these and have a safe flight. All right, they're gone. Let's get our flaps. We're good here. Taxi. Looper 358, kilo contact center 133.05. Control surfaces. Five, six, probably the pump is going to maintain level three, four, zero. So these three, four, 
Got the frame count is up so I can keep an eye and see any flickering going on. I think the flickering is just in the rain. It's not in the... Uh, oh no, I can see it outside of it. But I've got 30 frames. So, it's definitely not coming from the frames. used to seeing all that rain out the side window. to inclement weather. It would be nice if uh, Laminar Research would create a, uh, a cockpit flyers, a flight deck flyers section and take all the default aircraft that they've already created with 3D flight decks and just get rid of everything that's in there, make it invisible except for the wipers and the rain but just make the rain you know visible across the entire screen for us you can do that I think we should be able to manipulate the rest to get it working yeah they definitely approved the lightning because some of that looks absolutely wicked on the move over there. See, I'm getting 30 frames and I'm getting some stutters there. So, it's not coming from my end. Not frame rate wise, anyway. And then it disappears. And the frames haven't changed at all. They're still locked. Oh, that was pretty cool. Southwest 
locked at 30, it's locked at 30 hertz and yet I don't know I hope that gets worked out because that's annoying right, let's go to tower and let's bring for us network guys because I notice at night when we have lightning it'll flash here it'll stay dark here it'll flash there it'll flash 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 nothing seems to be in sync same thing with the vehicles on the ground all right let's get on out of here
There's some rain pelting the aircraft. Ooh, did we just get popped around there? Whoa! That is wicked. Whoa! Easy, baby. Did we get thrown around like a Cessna? thousand feet right actually you know what you could stay on With this weather hope we get out of this soon Zebo with this. Let's see what Zebo does. Oh, that looks amazing. Look at that view. See, this is where I'm in love with the clouds. They look absolutely stunning. And yet, down here in the corner, not so much. That was fun. Oh, yeah. Looking at 299. And we are inbound Marino. This rain effect definitely adds a whole new level to it. No doubt about it. Oh, you see, look at those clouds. They look absolutely beautiful right here. Just like, man. And yet, they begin to change and make these weird shapes. <coughs> it's like they almost got it down pat. I think these wipers are going to be on. I mean, the uh, seatbelts aren't going to be on the whole ride. Whoa! Man. Zippo did a good job of handling that. But that I think the boff bags in the back are gonna get used this run. We're gonna get above this. See some of the clouds here look great, some of them not so much. What a ride! <laughs> so what's next? Well, if we can get these dry spots fixed with the rain, that would really be great. I just don't have that ability. I'm, I'm going to keep trying, but like I said, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. So if there are any... Uh, plane maker guys or a blender I think is the other one if you guys can give us these uh, screens with rain with nothing else but the wipers that would be great thousand to go that's all we need um, aside from that as you can see the wipers are still going we're not getting any rain but I have to wire up these switches now that this works up next is time to wire up those switches all right how about we Get set here, and the seatbelt sign staying on. With this weather like this, hey, the rain's back again. Now it looks like the 3D rain is gone. 
probably force that back all I can with the uh, developer's menu. I want to see if it comes back on its own. Actually, it might even be mixed in there. It's hard to tell. Still not crazy about that warp speed look. The rain looks like it's actually charging towards me. The rain should be falling down and I should be smacking into it. That looks fabulous. So we're at cruise. We've got another 80 miles to go to top of descent, 149 miles to end the flight. So I don't think there's going to be much to see up here. So uh, I'll catch you guys on the back end. Hey everybody, welcome on the back end. We've been getting beat up the entire ride. And yet, there are no winds up in here. You see, we're getting thrown around like we're a toy just about. Get ready to start our descent. You know what? I'm going to take this from Zebo. My bird. Doesn't it go? Come on, Doc. Wow. Man. You would think we were in a typhoon. I forget Bullfrog. No, we ain't making that. This aircraft is still in one piece, is beyond me. <laughs> this is crazy. And I've got no wind showing in the wind. This is like this on approach. We definitely ain't gonna be able to land this thing. Holy! Wow! This is just. That's the end of that.
get popped again with some bad weather. I think I've ever had a flight like this in my entire flight simming career. And that goes back since before the internet. <laughs> It'd be nice if it stays like this. I don't mind the rain, but that wicked wind. I don't know where it's coming from, but it's not showing up on the display, that's for sure. Alright, let's get you 
back. Give me flaps five. No, flaps one, that is. This looks pretty cool. And getting slapped around like this isn't too bad. That other stuff. Ooh. Busy to actually enjoy the view. I'm surprised nothing's broken on this puppy. The way we got slammed around, I would be very surprised. a bit. A lot of white knuckle job there. So once I get done with this flight, it's going to go back to the drawing board and see if I can figure out these dry spots because that's really all that's left.
miles ago. And this has been this has been a fun one. Just have to remember not to get too crazy with the controls because I'm maintenance. And these stuff, I mean, they're well built, solid from Flight Deck Solutions. But I got the airport now. Did the Zebo mod or X-Plane keep track of damaged parts? That would be interesting to see. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. 
Nice ride, Zebo. Nice ride. This little flight, oh man, yeah, my voice is going big time now. I hope you enjoyed that ride. <laughs> Just don't get this flicker with uh, maintaining frame rate. Just lost our wipers there. Because I didn't do that. Oh, you know what? They don't run on the APU. That's what it is. They don't run on the APU. So. Get the chocks in position here. Chocks are in position. Brakes are off. And to shut down completely. Okay, IRS select is to off. Emergency exit light switch is off. 
exterior lights off. Bleed air set for external air, which we are. Engine start select is to both. APU or ground power disconnect. We're on APU, so we will turn that off. ACDC select is to standby. And battery switch to off. Hi everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed this flight. I did. It was rather interesting. I'm surprised about some of those uh, weather uh, anomalies we ran into. But uh, all in all, it was a pretty cool flight. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you on my next run. And I'm going to go back and see if I can clear up some of these dry spots. Alright everybody, take care.